So I thought I'd do an updated rat cage tour. Well, in this case, two rat cages. And in the first section, there's Ratty. And then on the bottom, there's Rexy. And in the next cage, on the top, is Robbie. And on the bottom is Russ and Manny. And the reason why they're all separated is because Robbie, Ratty and Rexy are all rat aggressive. So if they were kept together, they'd literally kill each other. So I've separated the cages with a chopping board and placed a big heavy brick on top so they can't get to each other and they can't get to each other through there either so all the rat cages basically have the same <laughs> exact toys in each section because I have OCD I have to have everything symmetrical we have this wooden chew which he loves and I've only just put that in so as you can see he's chewed a lot already and at the back he has his litter tray that he does use over here he has this fleecy tunnel hammock and then at the back he has <coughs> he has a rope which is attached to the other side and then here he has a, another hammock another rope hammock here and this colourful wooden hanging toy is actually a bird's toy but perfectly suitable for rats as well so I thought that would look pretty nice and then he just has another rope attached there he has a nubbly Nora here and all the rats love the nubbly Nora and at the back he has a spudnik bed I thought that's how you pronounce it I'm not sure and he loves fleeces so I always put a fleece in and he always sleeps in the middle here he has a jingly ball a plastic tunnel a teddy bear and he has lots of wooden chews spread out throughout his cage and this rope wooden chew. I got these chews from America. They don't chew on them but they look pretty. And here he has his 28 inch wheel. None of the rats actually use their wheels I don't think but either way they still have it in their cage because if they ever decide they want to they can. And then he has his wrapped bowl. And on the door, he has one of these loofah hanging chews. I thought I'd show you what they have tonight for their dinner. They have some grapes, some cabbage that I'm not too keen on, but I give it them anyway. Some peppers, cherry tomato, and some biscuits. So, in Rexy's, Cage. He's got his litter tray at the back, his fleece tunnel hammock there. Ah, oh, you ruined that. I need to put that in yesterday. Um, his rope and his rope hammock. He's got his wooden hang bird chew there, another rope, the knobbly Nora, a cardboard tunnel at the back. His Sputnik, um, and at the back he has his jingly ball, 
plastic tunnel, his running wheel, and then yet again he has a selection of wooden toys spread out, spread throughout his cage, and then he has his rat bowl. And of course, every cage has a water bottle because that's kind of important. So I'll just go give him some food. can pick out what he wants. Get in there. Oh, and by the way, just because my rats and guinea pigs and all the other small animals live in a shed does not mean it's not warm in here. I don't know if you can see, but that green stuff there is foam insulation. So that just fills all the nooks and crannies so there's no drafts. And then over here, they have a heater, which is on a timer. So it's always nice and warm in here. So in Robbie's cage, pretty much the same again <laughs> he has his pink litter tray at the back and uh, he has his hammock that he sleeps in he rips up all the newspaper and then he has a rope at the back another rope hammock he has a another bird chew <laughs> which they all don't seem to care about but it makes the cage look nice nevertheless he has a rope and a knobbly Nora another one of these tubes which he likes too and then of course the chopping boards are underneath the newspaper and then we have a heavy rock put on top so they can't move it about um, he has a dog tube his bowl there and then at the back he has his Sputnik that he never uses um, <laughs> and over there he has his wheel and he's lodged a wooden chew in it for some reason he has a plastic tunnel a plastic hard tunnel a jingly ball and then he has, again, loads of wooden trees throughout his cage. So that's his top section. Oh, and then he has a leaf or tree there. So you can have your dinner too, actually, Robbie. You've got to stay in the cage while I do this with you. Right. In the bottom section of the cage, I have my two lovely social ratties that aren't aggressive. And it's a shame they can't have all of the cage, but it's just how things are, and it's still a good size for them. Um, so, in the top, they have this cardboard tunnel. At the back, he has a green litter tray. And then they have this hammock that they came with, that they love. They also have one of those rope wooden shoes. At the back they have their rope. Um, what are you doing? Get back in the cage, mister. Actually, I'll give him some food because it'll keep them occupied. No, we didn't go there. What's this? They have their rope hammock here and the bird toy here. <laughs> like all of the cages. This is just when my OCD takes over. I cannot control my OCD. It's the worst of all my animals. If you mess up my cage, 
I will kill you. So yes again, another rape thingy. A knobbly Nora, a Sputnik, a running wheel, a jingly ball, and then they have this little wooden bed that they came with because they came, they came from a rescue. And I love rats, so I thought, why not? Why not have another two? So they have a <clears throat> plastic tunnel there, a what is this school? I can't remember. But they have one of those. <laughs> and then a loofah hanging to there. And then yet again, throughout their cage, they have wooden chews. And sometimes I like to give them hay, just because it's good for their teeth. Not all the time, but I do like to give it them. <clears throat> so... That is that, that's the rat cages. And all this has cost 400 pounds. Yeah, pretty pricey. Oh my God, it's probably more than that. Probably 500. Get off me, I'm trying to eat, mother. 